Hey everyone, welcome Welcome back to another Paul Mouse video. So, uh, since she's getting the monthly spotlight here, I, I guess we'll talk about it, um, for a bit, right, in terms of the, 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 the Marnie, right, because, because, again, but like, stuff like this, right, they do kind of entice you with quite a few things. First of all, grid expansion, further grid expansion, I guess, and then also you get, like, the free BP pair, right? So, yeah, I guess <laughs> we'll talk about it a bit, you know, it also gives us an excuse to you know, revisit this unit, since it's actually been a while since she came out, right? It was 1.5 year anniversary, man. Wow. Wow. It's been, uh, it's been double that time now. <laughs> More than. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, um, I mean, her kid, most people, you know, most folks should know much about it, but I guess for newer players, we'll quickly go over it. She's a tech unit that is more of a dark type DPS, even though she's electric type, right? More of a dark type DPS, um, and then electric nuker, right? Which is incredibly powerful electric nuker, right? Um, and uh, incredibly powerful physical. I think, is she still the best? No, no, no. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, she's probably still the best, like, physical dark type DPS in the game, I guess, right? Um... Yeah, even even with uh, the new champion Serena, so she has that <laughs> to to you know to boot and um, yeah that mainly comes from power trip um, power trip uh, skills incredibly high right with the multipliers and stuff so it could get uh, you know some pretty crazy numbers with that and she is mostly self sufficient if you could pick up MP rekindle <laughs> or if you get MP refresh on the on the training move or. The new thing, uh, critical eye on um, four out of five grid, I believe. Yeah, four out of five grid. So there's that, I guess, right? Um, she's good paralysis unit too, right? Hostile environment five on thundershock is uh, not bad. Um, if you want extra, yeah, four out of five numbing blow four as well. So you roll like two fifty percent, which is not a guaranteed paralysis, but it's a uh, should give you a pretty solid chance, <laughs> right? And then yeah, it just uh, switches right from. Um, uh, full belly and, and, and hangry changes the type of aura wheel, obviously, and then um, also uh, power trip when you are in um, hangry mode, it uh, it buffs the power trip by 50%, and obviously uh, as well as, um, you know, aura wheel, depending on the type. Or thunder shock, if you care, <laughs> I guess. No one's, no one's really using it. So yeah, hunger switch just switches uh, every time you, you're the, the Pokemon uses the move, right? Not Marnie, not the train, not the trainer move, but any of Thunder Shock, Power Trip, or Aura Wheel. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's that, I guess, right? If you're trying to pull for her, how many copies do you want? Mm, one out of five. She does most of her stuff, right? Um, DPS wise, right? Like DPS, like Power Trip DPS, one out of five is completely enough, right? Because she actually doesn't have any. Multipliers, <laughs> which would be pretty broken if she did um, have any, you know, mul more multipliers for power trip. So yeah, pretty crazy, pretty crazy that a um, that that a move, right? That has like almost no multipliers. Hits so incredibly hard. Uh, although to be fair, this does sort of count as a multiplier, right? I mean, well, not even sort of. It's, it is, um, yeah, fifty percent here, but yeah, you know, outside of that, right? Uh, yeah, two out of five, uh, you get the move gauge refresh, power trip. You do get a few more power ups for power trip, which are pretty good, right? Pretty good, even though it's only plus one, but uh, it actually adds up quite a bit, right, with the power trip multiplier uh, in of itself. So, as for some other stuff, speedy entry is all right. You know, you get more um, physical attack buffs over here, maybe earlier on. Uh, staggering two with Thundershock, if you, you know, want to flinch someone, right? Um, the only 30% chance, but I mean, you know, yeah. there's, there's, there's worse. <laughs> Lucky entry is not reliable, super duper effective, or super duper effective is uh, something, I guess, at 2 out of 5. So, 3 out of 5, um, you have inertia and static shock, so that's where you get your big sync nuke in, right? That's where you get your big sync nuke in, and it, it is very, very powerful. On top of that, you also have stuff like super preparation, right? So, you get maybe get a super effective up next sync nuke, right? Which could be uh, even more powerful. And then MP Rekindle, which is also very, very, very good for Gaunt or not Gauntlet. Um, I mean, it's fine for Gauntlet, but uh, Battle Villa, if you still need someone to, you know, clear Battle Villa, right? Because you just get MP back based on just attacking, <laughs> right? So uh, that's that's nice for uh, Villa if you still care. Uh, or a wheel, random speed, you could 
get some more damage with the aura wheel, I guess. But overall, aura wheels like damage isn't that great, right? So don't rely on too much static shock for another sync nuke multiplier. Um, four out of five, you get numbing blow here and critical eye, which is good for the self sufficiency, and then. 5 of 5, you have dashing team 9, buffs your entire team's speed, which is very, very good. Starting shot, the buffs opponents, attack and defense um, by 1, which is uh, or, or uh, against a uh, paralyzed unit, which is uh, pretty nice as, as well, since she is a physical damage dealer. So, yeah, um, overall, overall, it's, uh, yeah, if you, if you do want to pull for DPS-wise, 1 out of 5 is enough. If you want her for nuking, you kind of want 3 out of 5 for uh, Inertia and Static Shock. 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, honestly, they're nice to have. They're nice to have, right? Critical Eye is nice to have, um, especially if you're trying to save on supports on, like, a Gauntlet Run. Um, Numbing Blow is good for, like, Tornadoes, right? Take away more of the RNG stuff or component to it. Disheartening Shock and Dashing Team, like, all four of these are good. Right, but neither of them are like necessary either. Neither of them are like a must-have. Right, so it's either if you want nuke, three out of five. DPS one out of five. If you're rich, four out of five, five out of five. Right, um, which is some really nice QOL stuff. Just takes away some of the RNG component from from Marnie to an extent. Uh, but yeah, I mean, um, doing in general, right. Uh, <laughs> At this day and age, probably not something you really want to pull for specifically, unless you're a big Marnie or more, more Peko fan, right? Uh, I guess if you're wondering, well, is it worth pulling for if you want the, you know, the extra Lodge Marnie here with, with um, Toxicroak? I'd say no. This Toxicroak is one of the weaker Lodge units, I'd say, right? Um, you'd say, oh, well, it's a Poison-type damage. Uh, there's better Poison-type damage healers. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's not that good. It's not that good. It's not that good overall as a damage dealer. Um, it's uh, pretty bad, right? Uh, the the numbers-wise, if compared to a lot of other poison-type damage dealers, the setup is also not very good at all, right? The setup to get the nuke and all that stuff, uh, also pretty terrible. So, this is, yeah, this is not <laughs> not a situation where, damn, I really need this Lodge unit. Nah, you, you, could live, you could live without this Lodge unit, right? Again, unless you're a Toxic or Marnie fan. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Um, If you want to build her, I guess, none of their teams really change. Lucky skills probably still the same, right? Crit Strike 2. But uh, in terms of, like, grids, right, for, like, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, we could maybe build a few here, right? Um, You could Disheartening Shock, right? Uh, if you're going for, like, a Sync Nuke, you could maybe do something like this. Um... Pick up, uh, no, 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 that's too expensive. Maybe pick up stuff like that for, like, a basic nuke-ish kind of grid. Could be nice. If you also want, like, dashing team, which probably could be a bit more beneficial. It really depends on the team comp you're building, right? Um, you could instead go for dashing team over here, I think. Where's one short, though? We are slight. We are, we are one. We're literally one energy short, which sucks because this happens a lot. <gasps> damn. Damn. Is there nothing we could do here? Yeah, I, I guess something like this would make her more of like a team sort of unit, right? You could uh, help your team debuff the opponent's uh, defenses if you have another physical damage deal on the team, and then you also buff the team speed. So this is like an in between support ish slash nuker, right? And here we have a more, I guess, uh, DPS um, power play or power, not power play, power trip oriented. Power play is the passive. Power trip oriented sort of a grid, right? Where you can pick up disheartening shock. You have the numbing blow there, super duper effective one, which is only 10%. But again, any multiplier applied to, you know, fully boosted power trip is, is really just going to be nice, right? So yeah, you could definitely do something like this, or actually, maybe not the actual defense. <laughs> Uh, maybe extra attack here instead, right? So, yeah, that's more of a DPS sort of grid. 4 out of 5, you could maybe run, run, 4 out of 5, you could maybe run something like this instead, right? And for, for DPS and for nuke, I guess you could still, 4 out of 5 nuke is probably <laughs> relatively similar to, to, uh, you know, the 3 out of 5, I guess you could just maybe pick up, um, 
you know, uh, critical eye here if you need it, or like um, numbing blows, right? It, depending on 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 which one you need a bit more, right? Which uh, the that you know obviously depends on your team comp, right? And then everything else could be the same again. It really, really, really sucks that we're just one short, man, to pick up the second uh, sync move power up. But uh, I I guess you could ah, uh, you know what? You could drop one of these if you're picking up numbing blow. You could drop one of these and and pick up a. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, sync with power up over here. Although if you are using critical eye, I don't think you can, right? Don't think you get get both. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really see another way. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's for I guess uh, two out of five, right? Or not two out of five, four out of five, four out of five. Overall, not a banner you really want to pull for. It is also enticing that you also, like, in the general pool, have, like, all the other Poke Fairs in there, right? I think there's, like, Cynthia, Raihan, and something like that. There's maybe a few more here and there, right? Uh, but, uh, eh, mm, not, not really, not really, not really. It's a good unit. It's definitely a good unit, right? It's still a very, very, very uh, capable unit, but the Lodge unit's not that great. The extra grid expansions... It's nice, but it's something you could totally live without, right? And is we just have like there's so many other big things, right? Having happening this month, obviously. The uh, got the holiday units, right? Uh, Jasmine looks incredibly powerful, and then obviously the two Greninjas, those are big. And then you have the second anniversary Master Fears rerunning, if you care about those, right? And uh, whatever's happening on New Year's probably <laughs> too, right? So. Anyways, yeah, that's been this one. I guess hope you all enjoyed my guys. Link in the comments down below. Link to the video for more about my content, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one then.